Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Just got home from work. Still in the work. You know, got to do the thing. Um, just poured a, a wee nip of some black IPA. Mellow down easy, baby. Mmm. I got a beer mail today. In fact, I got two beer mails today. First beer mail I got this morning. It was delivered to work, and it's already in the fridge chilling. They're brown bottles with no labels, so I'll just tell you what they are. I got two beers from Beer Lord, as he's known on the YouTube. So I want to say thanks, Paul. Awesome, awesome stuff. They are two Dropkick Nates, um, actually four bottles, two of each. A uh, traditional fermented with WLP001 and an experimental one fermented with WLP007. So cross that off the list. I'm going to get to sample it. So um, I got a lot of updates, so hopefully we can get through these without being 100 hours long. <sighs> so looking forward to those. I'm going to try to save them. I'm going to do my best to save all four for when Elder's down here. And if not, then I am going to uh, maybe drink one and then save one for when he's here and we can... I'll do a comparison, maybe just take a little sip of his, and then we'll, uh, yeah. But I want to do some reviews. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the second beer mail is right here. This is from one birthday boy, Wally Feck. Happy birthday, Wally. Uh, and I don't know what's in it. Well, I kind of know what's in it. I know a couple things. But I really don't know all of what's in here. So let's check it out. Uh, as I'm going through this, I will go ahead and tell you some other updates. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> uh, did a brew. And uh, before I unleash these, what I'll do is I'll cut to some video, I'll unpack these, and then I'll show you what I got after the brew footage. So here's some brew footage. Um, me brewing the 644 Mag Light Special IPA. So, I don't know, that's just what I named it. But it is a 644 fermented IPA, borderline double IPA, with Mosaic, Azaka, and Galaxy. Those are the, those are the only three hops in it, so Mag Light. All right, so I'll cut to that. I'll be back in a minute. Cheers. Hey, how's everybody doing? It's brew day. I've got, uh, I'm gonna do a hazy New England IPA with some um, White Lab 644. I'm getting things together. What's going to bring the haze on this one is some crunchy nuggets. Uh, this is like generic grape nuts. And so I'm going to throw those in. And that ought to do it. Instead of putting wheat or something like that in there uh, to bring the haze, I'm just going to count on that, the yeast and the hops. That should do it. Um, I've been wanting to do an IPA using grape nuts for quite a while, so finally getting to it today. I uh, have the grain bill sorted out and uh, I just need to get things crushed and figure out some hops and weigh them out. I know I'm going to use uh, Mosaic, Azaka, and Galaxy. I'm going to call it the 644 Mag Light Mag Light, yeah, 644 Mag Light Special IPA. All right, cheers. There's the grape nuts and the rest of the grist. Let's get it in.
mash is sitting at about 154. I'm going to stir it a little bit and get it down closer to about 152, 151, and then uh, start the, uh, the old timer. There's first runnings. They look pretty glorious. Great color. First wort hop with some Azaka, quarter ounce. Um, this is the first brew day with the new hop spider mesh hop screen. So, pretty excited about that. Hanging it from here rather than up here because I'm only doing a five gallon batch. Now, if I did a 10 gallon, I would bring it up here, obviously. But I think we'll be, uh, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be enough, enough fluid in there. So we'll uh, keep you posted. I'm running off the last of the sparge there. So we'll have that collected up here in a minute, and we'll get this boil going. Here we go. And try this baby out for the first time here. This is uh, basically a five minute edition. Well, looks like it's working. <laughs> we'll see. All right. We have some, we have some company neighbor came by. So we've got uh, one ounce each mosaic. Azaka and Galaxy for the Whirlpool. So we'll start. We'll start the uh, Whirlpool. Boom. Brew day's a wrap. Hit 10.65. My target gravity was 1.064. Target volume five and a half gallons, and I got uh, about 5.4. So we're like pretty much right there. Probably explains it extra point um, big old starter of uh, 644 WLP 644 the whoops it's not Brett East train um, really love the beers that I've had with us so uh, about to pitch this I'm gonna get that in the fermenter get this thing fermenting along um, pretty went pretty well pretty relaxed pretty chill yeah Pretty pumped. The wort, I tasted it. Oh, here, here's what it looks like. It's uh, extremely hazy, and it's probably the best tasting wort for an IPA that I've ever brewed. So, something to be said about that. Mmm. That combo of Mosaic, Azaka, and Galaxy, it's off the charts. So. I'll be back with some uh, tasting notes in a week or two or three. Cheers. Catch you on the next one. So, that was fun. That beer is going to be cool. Um, I can tell you the wort was wicked. Tasted so good. Uh, it's already done really doing most of the action in primary. It is sitting in the fermenter still. I just raised the temp up from 65 to about 68 to kind of just help it finish out. And while I was doing the adjustment, I went ahead and threw in the first of two dry hops um, that I'm putting in there. The first one is only like an ounce and a half. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half in primary and then um, I'm debating whether or not I do the second dry hops in a secondary, in a primary, or in the keg. Um, I think I might just go for the keg because it's really going to make it pop. I don't know. I got to do a little sample. Let's see. Uh, the last time I did the keg dry hop with the uh, zombie dust, zombie dirt that I called it, uh, it turned out really phenomenal. So without further ado, let's do a little cheers. Cheers, Wally. Mmm. Got some beers. We're chasing whales, boys. Chasing whales. I've got the infamous White Raja. This is uh, from the Brew Kettle, and it's a West Coast West Coast IPA, and they're in Strongsville, Ohio. Heard a lot of good things about these guys, so I'm really pumped. I think it's like Cleveland area, if I'm not mistaken. The other one, 
which <laughs> the coveted hop slam wally <laughs> huge thanks brother huge huge freaking thanks this stuff is uh crazy fresh um let's see package one nine of 17 that is today is the 25th there you go i mean that's like that's ridiculous it doesn't get any pressure so um what else do we have we've got a mystery beer right here the uh ink and mark are kind of smudged up but um could be the arrogant bastard clone that he did um looks like it could be the right color for that what else do i got i got a galena smash beer bam i don't know why i'm showing you brown bottles I got the cram, uh, where'd it go? 644 Cranberry Berliner. Man, this is like uber fresh just out of the, just into the keg like last week. So I'm freaking pumped about that. Wally was just drinking that on his homebrew Wednesday this week. I got a blueberry lager, which excited to try that, baby. And the uh, 644 Double IPA. Man, this thing's a beast is like almost 11 percent so freaking stoked can't thank you enough wally huge thanks what else do i got coming up all right so i did enter the peach state brew off and i'm gonna put in three beers into four categories i'm gonna be doing uh the black lager so it's a black ipl it is uh it drinks like a, a like a session black IPA, but it's got so much character. I freaking love it. The aroma just kills, so I'm hoping it does well. I'm putting it in the black IPA. I'm not mentioning that it's a lager, so we'll see. I'm gonna call it Interstellar Fax Machine. I don't know. <laughs> so I was coming up with just crazy names on the fly. First thing that came to my mind, and I was at work today, and I figured that one out. I'm also going to enter in the so beer. Okay, that's going to go into the uh, uh, wood wood aged beer or something they call it. So, uh, oh, I got my things right here. <laughs> got my labels. Got my labels. Yeah. So the black IPA is going into specialty IPA into the black category. Um, yeah, wood beer, specialty wood aged beer. And the subcategory, base category is Irish red, obviously. Um, and then the other one I'm putting in is the chocolate stout, which I mentioned last week. And that one is going to go into two categories. First is going to go into the sweet stout. Um, I'm not going to give them the ABV. I'm just going to throw it in there as a sweet stout. And then it's also going to go in to the, what the hell category is that one? I always forget it. Spiced beer category because that's where chocolate stouts are supposed to go so i'm doing this as an experiment to learn for myself how these bjcp uh, gurus do their thing right uh no offense i've got some bjcp judge friends so love you guys too but anyway see how they do their thing see what they come back with feedback from two different categories um with the same beer so spiced beer it's going that's the spice urban vegetable beer category and then the subcategory, base category for that is going to be sweet stout. So I'm going to kind of hit them double whammy, right? Um, I'm calling it the chocolate bar fly or the chocolate bar fly stout. Yeah, there's another name just kidding to me. All right, so that's it for this week. I've taken up a lot of your time. I appreciate you sticking around and listening to all my crazy stuff. Oh, um, the other thing <laughs> I failed to mention, I joined the Homebrew Club. I joined the Homebrew Club, went to the first meeting earlier this month, I've got a second meeting tomorrow night, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, it's the voting meeting, so I mean, I'm, I am vote for whoever I like at the time, I guess, well, show of hands, whatever. But it's the more relaxed one. There's a technical meeting, which is this one, and then there's like the kind of fun meeting where they go out and usually meet at the same place, I guess. They've got a, uh, there's a uh, Mexican joint that has freaking great craft beer tap list along with uh, bottles. So they're more than accommodating and they let us use their back room, just kind of take over and 
spend a bunch of money. We're there until they close and then everyone goes home. So, uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the meeting tomorrow night. Uh, one of the guys there is actually going to be mewling my beers up for the Peach State Brew Off. So, win-win. All right, I'm out of here. You guys have a great week. Catch you on the next one. And everybody, until next time, homebrew up. Oh, crap. Cheers.